Have you ever uh, gone to the shop or a store to buy a ball for maybe a volleyball or a basketball? Uh, what's the first thing that you do? Probably the first thing that you do is just take the ball in your hand and press it with your hands and fingers to see how firm or stiff is the ball, right? So uh, here you can rely, you cannot say much by your vision or eyes. You rely more upon your feelings and touching the ball. So you can divide balls into good and bad based on how stiff they are. So if it is very soft or deformed, you don't buy it. Well, uh, it, it uh, appears that we can divide cells also in the more or less same way. It means that uh, we can divide cells based on healthy and diseased cells based on only their stiffness. But why is it like that? Because there are some proteins inside the cells that they are like filamentous and they make the cells stiff, like uh, the skeleton for our body, we call it cytoskeleton that makes the cell stiff. So a healthy cell cannot be deformed or indented easily, while a diseased cell can be soft. And it can cause a lot of problems and a lot of disease, like cancer or like diabetes type 2 or progeria syndrome that causes uh, children to grow very old in their early stages of their life. So now we are all in our uh, lab, we are trying to figure out the best technique and microscopy technique to uh, distinguish between a healthy and diseased cell. But this microscope is not a microscope to see through uh, the cell. It's a microscope that works like our finger. It has a very, very tiny finger that it is called probe. It comes into contact with the surface of the cell and press it to feel how stiff it is. And based on their stiffness, then we decide. So we have two categories of the cells. We derive them from healthy people and also diseased people. And we put them under the microscope in a situation to keep them alive, like uh, the temperature that we have in our body. And then we try to figure out how stiff they are to help it and use the data for diagnosis of cancer, for example, in the very early stages. So the next time that you go to, a bar, to, to, go, uh, to buy a ball and press it, think that scientists can do the same thing to distinguish between diseases. Un applauso per Suji.